It's, it's time for Old School oh, Guys man. Talk Knives Live. I figure I'm going to step in at least once a month. <laughs> You're going to step in it. Make sure you had lost your mind or something. Jason's with us today in case you didn't notice the big guy's in his eye. Right. Is it me? No, it's Jason. My mic is on. It's better with it off. He's better with it off. <laughs> he doesn't need a mic. <laughs> we got you. I got you. You're good. There we go. It was off. I swear it, I turned it on. It, yeah. Sometimes when you turn it on, you have to, and you wait a long time, you have to turn it on again. Well, that's ridiculous. I'm not seeing. You have it. to spice it up. I don't do that with my phone. I turn my phone on once it stays on. <laughs> did he go live on Facebook? I no, I didn't. <laughs> or he just go live on, on YouTube. He's leaving y'all out over there. It's happening. Hello, Facebookers. Facebookers. It's been loading. And YouTubers. It's been loading. It's loading. I don't. I don't uh, well, we'll just stick around. For, yeah. Yep, it, yep, we're good. Yep. yep. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Facebook world. Welcome to Guys Talk Knives Live, episode number one hundred and forty-six. Ridiculous. Jason has been absent for the last eighty-five of them. <laughs> <laughs> he's been close, hasn't he? He's been close in the building. <laughs> you hadn't been in the building for most of those. Well, you know, you find a good thing, you hang I, on to it. I come into your house. Sneak in the back door like normal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we make you go in the back door. Well, most people don't. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, SMKW.com, the world's largest knife store. You know the show. You've forgotten this banter. That's true. You know, it's just not as easy with a cat. You're used to folks <laughs> just talking about knives instead of one of us <laughs> drawing us off into <laughs> tangents. I like to drive to tangents. <laughs> <laughs> I had a Nissan tangent once Did when you? I in high school. Yeah. Did it get good mileage on your tangent? It was mustard yellow. You get in the car and it just goes off by itself. <laughs> it does. It pulled to the right. <laughs> and after high school, started pulling I had a to the lot left. of jokes. None of them <laughs> were going to be good. None of them were going to be good. <laughs> Guys, we have five great items to get through you. Get through you. I guess you could. You this one especially. Yeah. Uh, to get through today, I do have some business right here up front, though. Dangler. 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 Sorry, go ahead. Dangler with the rod holder. No, I like it. That was almost Matthew McConaughey it right was. there. No, guys, uh, Kenton Roberts, he won. <laughs> he won. <laughs> Kenton Roberts. Kenton Roberts won the Hogue FX02. Oh, yes. That really nice fixed blade we gave away no last kidding. week. Yep. Hogue knives, USA made. I wish they did more fixed blades. I think they do a pretty good mix. I, I, I just I want more of those companies to do different stuff. Like Microtech, their fixed blades are really cool looking. Yeah. They just don't do that many. I right. want a Microtech neck knife. I think that'd be cool as crap. That could be cool. Just a, a nice small mm -hmm. Microtech mm -hmm. with that definite feel that they have to them would be kind of neat. <laughs> yes! Whoa. Fastest automatic in the world. <laughs> so fast you don't have to open it. Hey, uh, what have you been working on here recently? Just letting you know. Just just let them know. You haven't been wow. around in a while. Um, Anything so fun, cool stuff? Been hiring people. Hiring? Hiring. <laughs> hiring them? We, we, have, we have new hires starting in the e-com department. We're going to... You're not giving my office up, are you? <laughs> no, we're adding people to it. <laughs> I knew this answer. He asked me, all right, hey, is we're it gonna, okay if we stick people in we're here? We're going to take it and just push all of Jalen's... <laughs> And I'm like, I don't, over to the side. <laughs> I don't care. I'm working from the bed. It's fine. <laughs> no, we, we're, we've been, uh, we're going to increase the size of the department. We're going to add a lot more diversity to the product line over the next, let's say, four months. Nice. So a lot more apparel, a lot more sporting goods, a lot more kitchenware. Nice. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. Nice. Yeah. Let me kick them right in the Bass Pro. You could. You could. <laughs> Guys, we're going to get into this before I get in any more trouble here today. <clears throat> we have something cool happening on Thursday, though, right? We're not going to talk about it a lot. What do we have going on Thursday? Pay attention on the website on Thursday. Okay. You, you know what's happening? You know what's happening? On Thursday. October 15th, Thursday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's going to happen. Pay attention to the website. I, we'll talk about it next week for sure. This is what happens <laughs> when there are when lots you, of dates. Yeah, and you when you do not deal with that side of the business nearly as much as you used to, <laughs> you go, I don't know. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> huh? See, see, he deals with the technical side and you yes. make sure everything goes up on the website, the product mix is right and all that, and I get to tell you all about it. Exactly. <laughs> Wherever we can. So. And though I get alerts as to what we're going to go over in the show. He has no clue. I still don't read it. Not a clue. Not a clue. <laughs> it's more fun to me to walk in and go, oh, that's pretty. Cool. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> what's crazy here with the first item we're going to get into today? And I say this because... The way the website sorts new arrivals right now, I missed this over and over again. Brand new sure. from Rough Rider, the classic G10. That These were fun. Sorting issue is soon to be fixed. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. That series feels good. Looks good. I think I like it better than the, the Blue Mule. I, I would agree with you on that. And I hate and to I, say I that because I, I dig that series. When I saw the samples, I would not have said that at all. This is classic G10. Let's go two okay, guys. Okay, before you go you. that far, was it the color? It was the idea of it. It was the idea of mixing. Um, is that better, Isaac? Yeah. I like when he gives me hand signals from the side. <laughs> he does the rolling on the river move. Has he done that good. for you yet? So... <laughs> Jackson 5 is his so, best move. So, was it, was it the idea or was it the color? It was the idea of two different G10s and fake bolsters. I just didn't somehow grasp that that was going to be good enough. I didn't, I didn't like that idea at first, but now I see it executed. It has been executed in an outstanding way. I am about to say, it came out really, really well. Run I, through the specs on it. that, and then we can go back up and chat okay, with each other. So, all of these from this classic G10 series feature 440A blades with half stops, match strike pulls, they all have a satin finish. The handles are green G10 scales with desert tan G10 bolsters. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm like Andy, they turned out just phenomenal. They look amazing. Uh, they have brass liners, torque screws, uh, which that's not something we do a whole lot of. No, we're going to start doing a little Rider. bit more of it in Rough Rider, it's really but it's uh, you can pop these off if you really wanted to. You just unscrew your screws. It does me too. <laughs> Every time I talk about a slip joint, taking it apart blows my mind. Yeah. So this moose in particular features a three inch clip point blade and a three inch spay blade. Um, it's four and a quarter inches closed. It weighs 3.5 ounces. And uh, the texture of the G10 on the outside it feels of this good. whole series is so cool feeling. It's not super smooth, but it's not rough either. Nope. It's somewhere in between. It just feels pretty good in the hand. Um, as I've said before, the, the moose, especially this moose particular pattern is like a trapper got a divorce. And now they're living at separate sure. places. See, I was gonna say it's like a it's like a canoe on steroids. <laughs> Could be. It's a canoe I on love steroids. that Texas Spay. That yes. is a fantastic blade on this. I'm gonna let you hold this. For yeah, a there, second. there is my drawback when I first saw this is I saw the photos and I was like, I just don't know that I dig the color scheme, mm -hmm. and I I was wrong. Mm -hmm. Oh, it turned out really really nice. Yeah, it turned out great. I think there are four, and I think there are more coming in at this there point. Are. And this one's fifteen bucks. It's fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. I like the satin finish on these too. We're starting Love to do that a little bit finish. more. Walk and talk. Perfect. Very, very nice. Yeah, it we can pop that again. And feels so good in your hand. So you got the half stops, guys. That's open. Yeah, yeah. And you don't have to slam it. Yes, ma'am. Are there any other patterns other than the three we've got coming in in that series? Yes. Yeah. Do I don't know what they are. I don't either. Um, but when, uh, on them? It, it has been. <laughs> so usually when we do a series, we try to do at least six knives in a series. It's very rare that it's any smaller than that, unless it's something specific. So like sure. um, if it were to say be Mother of Pearl, you're yeah. going to see like four patterns in that. That's because the Mother of Pearl we have to use requires small patterns. Sure. Or the Abalone. Same, same difference, exactly. right? Yeah, so yeah. You, you may see only four patterns of it. Usually six, eight, or ten patterns in a series. Well, and and some, we've done as many as 14. And some patterns lend themselves to some designs more, I would assume, than others. Sure. So like with the Stonework series, it might not work as well on a moose as it does on a trapper or a moose as it does on a canoe. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It just, it, it takes a little bit different outlook. But yeah, there will be more of these coming in. I really dig that thing though. I love... 15 bucks. Yeah. I love the size of the moose because in my hand, that just feels right. Mm -hmm. It is, it's a good size knife. Um, Must have walk in there. Yeah. A good size good knife. Size knife. <laughs> it feels good in my yeah. hand. I wouldn't want to have to cut you with it. I carried that uncomfortable <laughs> love of steel. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would go there. <laughs> Every yes, time. Yes, ma'am. Did we do camera two on that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, we have questions. Okay. So. We have answers, maybe. No, you don't. I'll make them up. No, you don't. 
When does Rough Rider Reserves come in? Uh, as soon as the boat lands, it goes through customs and it gets put in stock soon. So yep. we have no idea when that's going to Not happen. a clue. Nope. Uh, they, they have not been sold out. You see that on the site. You can find them in new arrivals still. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, coming soon. They're in there right now. And you want to go ahead and put your email address in the notify me when this is in stock <laughs> section. You will get an email as soon as they drop. When you get that email, you are going to want to go ahead and buy them because Sean's already, he's, he's bought 50 of them. Of the kayak. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, the, the perfect example of that is, right, we put that trash panda, on yes. the Victorinox, onto the site. Mm -hmm. And um, it sold out, and then we told everybody on the show, and we showed it again, go sure. ahead and get signed up. Well, some more of them came in, like, yesterday or something like yeah. that? They're already gone. They're gone. Yeah. yeah. So when you see your email and you've put in something popular, then do it, because they're going to go. They're going to go fast. They're going to go very fast. Yeah. Other. Do we ha since those trash pandas just we had an order come in? Do we have more coming still? Yes, yeah. two more orders on the way right now, for sure. Yeah, the, you can have your trash panda for Christmas. That's for sure. Heck yeah. Yeah, they'll be here sooner than that, but you can get somebody a trash panda for. And Christmas. some more designs in that in that style and that idea are coming out as well. We've uh, if you, did you see the poison dart frog? I did. Poison dart frog is, is has been really popular as well. So. Got the flag Look bombers, the poison dart frogs. Oh, flag bombers turned up. So yeah, we had that good. on the show last week. Nice stuff. They're so cool. Very, very nice um, stuff. So yeah, I mean, there, there's. It's the fun thing with Victorinox is it's easy to have that multicolor, high def look on the outside of one of them. Full those. color handles in it, yeah, and we're having great. them done in house. And nobody else has them, so it's kind of awesome. It's great. What else? Anything? Does the move, moose have half stops? Yes. Mm -hmm. The moose moves at half stops. Cha ching. All of, uh, almost, like every, a spy almost every <laughs> Rough Rider that you're going to find coming out now that is a traditional will have half stops in it. Um, the ones that don't usually have half stops are lock, locking blade knives. Um, and still, some of those have half stops. It's just much easier to do when it is not a locking blade. Can you put a half stop in a flipper? Uh, <laughs> that would kind of defeat the purpose, but you could. <laughs> The most annoying <laughs> flipper ever. It'd be the best thing ever. So what you're saying is basically just the normal way you flip a knife. For me, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking if you put the half stop in there, I'd have a purpose to not be able to open it all the way. <laughs> Let's jump into the next one and get him back into some questions if we've oh, got one. No? There's one more. It's related. We'll get to it, woman. Jeez. <laughs> well, you keep talking. Yeah. Uh, is Rough Rider ever going to have a large clasp knife? A large clasp knife, like an open L? Yeah, I think, yeah. I don't think so. Okay. We could. Never yeah. say never. Yeah. And now we're done with Rough Rider questions. Nice. That'd be kind of neat, but... <laughs> but you know, there are so many that are out there that are in that same price range. It'd I was about to say, that's the problem is... Yeah, you got Open, open L, L you've got the... Uh, the, uh, the Old Bear from Old Bear. Manny. I was thinking Bear Oak for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. There's the Rough Rider name. Bear Oak. Bear Oak. Get your Bear Oak. R-E. Oh, Ooh, it's, it's unfinished. unfinished. <laughs> <laughs> okay, We've boys been and girls. Each other way too long. Let's jump. Let's <laughs> yes. jump into this next one because I want to say it with my Sean Connery, Viper Hunter. It's a Viper Hunter. Viper Hunter. I bring a knife. You bring a Viper Hunter. <laughs> okay, I don't skin anything, but I think that's super sexy. It is. That man, it's bigger than I thought it was too. This Viper Hunter right here. <laughs> Sometimes you get it in your hand, it does seem bigger. It does. <laughs> That's like the Star Trek logo became a knife. That's and then drooled down this and side. And then drooled. That's right. It is much lighter than I thought it was going to be. Really? Yes. It is bigger and heavier than I thought it was going to be. Seriously. Yeah. Just, from the, just from sitting on the table, it, it has a, it's very ergonomic and it fits good in your hand. Mm -hmm. And to me, it's much lighter than I thought it was going to be. Let's show it and tell yeah, them about it. Very good. Talk about it tomorrow. So this is the Viper Hunter Skinner. Uh, we've just got a whole bunch of new Viper brand knives yes. on the site. Yes. Uh, new to us. Um, features a 3.875 inch 1.4116 stainless steel Skinner blade with a satin finish and natural Cocobolo wood handles. Uh, it's a full tang fixed blade, 0.11 inches thick with a lanyard hole. Uh, it's 7.5 inches overall and weighs 5.29 ounces. It does include a brown leather sheath with sheath with a belt loop. 
I heard sheep. Sheep. A brown leather sheep. That's a sheep that's, that's been tanning way too much. It's for skinning. It's for skinning. Yeah, we send you the sheep. <laughs> we send you the sheep. And you learn how to skin. It out. Yeah. I like this thing though. It fits really well in hand. Nah, it's great. Um, it would do the skinning you needed. I like everything that I've seen from Viper Skinner. so far. Skinner. Skinner. It's like thinner on the that's different. Right. Yeah. <laughs> At least you got the reference. Jimping's in a good spot. Yeah. That just feels good. I'm gonna hand it to no, you. No, no hot spots or anything. Way. It. Um, I dig it. Viper made in Italy. Yes. 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 Pretty yes. Sure? Vipers Italy? Yes. Yes. <laughs> we had to go to the judges so on that one. this is an Italian skinning knife. Not for skinning Italians. No. But from Italy. <laughs> Are the handles pinned? Blade? The handles look like they are glued. I would assume that they're glued. I don't there are no rivets. There are no screws. Nothing that I can see. Though they may be like... I know that may that may be skeletonized inside and glued through. They Does actually that make sense? skeletonized and they stick the knife down on a tree. Yes. And the tree grows around it. They cut it loose and shave this down. They do. It's very expensive. You should see process. the elves that have to do that. <laughs> They're Italian. They're magical. <laughs> magical Italian elves. They're magic Italian. <laughs> Mag <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm not on the show that much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really do. I dig uh, that. They're probably glued. Uh, my guess I is that those are, are uh, those are skeletonized. Uh, yeah. That's a skeletonized tang, and then that is probably pushed through together and glued, so that's not yeah. going anywhere. But it's very, very pretty. Viper. Like it. Like, like it a lot. lot. Like and again, it a lot. it's it's a, a new line. You can go to the, the brand section on the website, which you folks visit a lot, and look for Viper, and go check out everything we have from there. There you go. <laughs> little shaver. Little shaver. <laughs> Apparently, if you can't with a knife, paper's winning. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I you can't skin the paper. I've lost to paper several there times. There you go. So, yes. Is the spine square or crowned? It's square, but I don't think it's 90 degree. No. I don't think it is either. It's definitely not crowned. <laughs> definitely not crowned. What was the price on that I didn't give the price. 80 bucks. 80. Mm, yeah, that's the wrong paper. I kept the wrong paper out. Oh, it, it, it. What are you doing? 79 99 That's what I said. I'm just checking. You've been wrong before. You know I make stuff up. <laughs> it is $13.99. $85. Three easy payments. Three easy payments. I can't get it in. I got it. I got it. I was trying to jam it in there and it wouldn't fit. <laughs> Bad influence. That's right. I can't open knives. You can't put them back up. Because it got bigger in my hand. Good bug, good, 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 good. Condor. My favorite thing on the table. Are we going to go with Basante? Is that nice? Basante? I would assume Basante. Dangler sheath straight yes. away. We love these. Got a spot for your ferro rod yep. right here. And Look at this that. This is a pretty, pretty knife called the Basante. 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 It is a beast. I do love do the do handle. Do do. Oh my gosh. So, it features a 4.75 inch, 1095 carbon steel drop point blade with a natural finish, walnut handles, and that walnut is the finish on the walnuts. It's really, pretty. really cool looking. Uh, full tang fixed blade. It's 0.11 inches thick. It features red and white liners. It has brass rivets. It has a lanyard tube. It's 9.25 inches overall, weighs six ounces, and of course it does include the brown leather dangler sheath. I love these traditional sheaths. Yes. Well, I'm going the wrong way. He's giving us a live view up there now, isn't that nice? I do like it. It's that, yeah. pretty. Just look up there, real pretty. I think this is a pretty, pretty knife. I love that Condor does these like that. Yeah. You said 10.95 on the blade? 10.95. Nice. And it's 7223. 7223, those Condor prices. Condor prices are always strange, <laughs> but they're also not that expensive. Um, so, you know, I mean, you're $73 for a just a great little bushcrafting, camping, hiking knife. This just looks knife. and feels like a traditional knife. Yeah, it does. But I love those liners, too. Made in El Salvador. Made in El Salvador yeah. by El Salvadorians. I like their natural finish. Um, and you'll see that called... Forge finished or all manner of things, but I really like their finish. What you got? <clears throat> is that a Scandi grind? It is not. Right? Or is it? I don't know. It's what it, grind, that's, isn't it? 
Okay, so no, I think that is a Scandi grind. Is it? I don't know. I believe so. I don't know. If, I don't, I'm bad with grinds. I admit that freely. I actually thought it was, too. I think it is a Scandi grind. It's not a chisel grind. It is a Scandi grind. You're right. Okay. Is it 90 degrees? It's not. Uh, no, but it could be very easily. Yeah. It is not. Love the white and the red liners on that. Yep, very pretty. That reminds me of the answer you brought. Oh, yeah. Yep. Very nice. 72-23. Yeah. Great knife. Sounds like a locker combination. It does. If you don't have a condor in your collection, jump on it. Go find huh? one. I don't know. Do you know if that's a Joe Flowers? I Ooh. do I'm, not know. I think it is. I don't know. I'll look. No. She I got look. it. Joe Flowers. Joe does a lot of the designs for Condor. Yeah, he does. That's a good price on a good knife. Yeah. 1095, can't go wrong with it. That sheath is awesome. Making pretty sheaths right there. And it's a dangler. It's a dangler. It'll stay out of your way. It'll dangle. Won't bind up on you. Isaac, do you know why that's a good sheath? A dangler's a good sheath? Have we demonstrated this for you yet on a dangler? I feel like I shouldn't answer that. <laughs> okay, so look. So a normal sheath, when it's Here. through your belt right normal there. Sheath. Okay, normal sheath right there in the belt. Let's say I squat down by the fire or whatever. As soon as I go, it does this number right there. And I have a tendency, if this is not strapped in on some knives, for my knife to spill out. Yep. However, a dangler, when you have a longer knife, as soon as you went down, it just lays over. When yep. that, that's, the, that's the real benefit of a dangler. Stays out of the way. Stays out of the way, yeah. and it, your knife isn't going anywhere. That's kind of awesome. Uh, you can always slip that over your belt, too, if you really oh, want sure. to. Oh, sure. Or on a pack strap or wherever. The more you know. They right. want to see it close up again. Oh. I do, too, actually. It's a, it's a groovy knife. That pattern, what is that? It's a natural finish. They're calling it a natural finish. It looks like it's a forged finish and yeah. whatnot. Again, it's it depends on the company. They're all Look at those somebody. liners. Red and white on both mm -hmm. sides. Good thickness on this knife. Uh, brass rivets. Yep. Again, Lander very tube. traditional. Yep, very much. Walnut. Walnut's going to last forever, too. Yeah. Yes. And it's the character's going to change as you use it. Yep. That, that handle is going to pick up oils from your hand and from work, and it's going to going to change over time. Nice. I dig it. I dig it a lot. What's up next? Bam. Fox. Vi Vipers and foxes on the show. Telling today. you. This is a fox. Black fox. Yes, indeed. Carbon X. Carbon X. I do this on the... Okay, so look. Only because I'm here. I'm messing you up. No, it's, it's... So there's jimping that happens right here. Yeah. And because I have a tendency to want to put my nail towards it instead of just pushing, yep. I dig my nail right into the jimping. So, And with it being a frame lock, I always my fingers fall in the frame lock and I never quite open the way that I want them to. <laughs> exactly. I'm bad at them. Here it is on. So this is two, the... Two, 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 thank you. <laughs> this is the Fox Black Fox Carbon X. It features a 2.75 inch 440C drop point blade with a satin finish. Uh, 0.125 inches thick. It's a manual flipper. Uh, it's a frame lock. It features carbon fiber and stainless steel on the handles. It has a tip-up pocket clip. It's four inches closed, 6.75 inches overall, and it weighs 3.56 ounces. And it's $28.99. <laughs> yeah, from Fox Knives of Italy. It's great. The action's pretty good. I just gotta remember not to put my nail down as I as I do that. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. It's just a quick, easy uh, frame yeah. lock. Uh, it's a nice EDC. Yeah. Nice jumping right there in the frame lock, too. Yeah. Eee, pretty nice. Good size. It's not. <sighs> Look at that. Look at you. I'm uh, telling you. I'm doing it on purpose now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a good knife. <coughs> it's, you know, it's not going to break the bank. Just very, very cool. I like it a lot. <laughs> Are we there got half stops on it? <laughs> no, no, you. no half stops. No, wouldn't it be perfect, right? You just you <laughs> flick it and it stops, and then you have a second flipper that comes out here, so you flick it again. <laughs> Dude, this one actually the has double flick half stop glider lock. This one actually has 130 <laughs> second stops. There's just so many you can't feel it. <laughs> Seems like a 30 point turn on the There's car. There's 132 stops right here. <laughs> it's milled out by the. War people. This is the 180 degree half stopper. <laughs> it's just a simple, yeah. useful EDC exactly. that is what, 26 bucks? 28 
twenty nine dollars. Yeah. SMKW.com. And right it's got there. some flair. I mean, that carbon fiber, the the jimping, the design, it looks good. I want to I go. dig it. I almost went. Woo! Do it. <laughs> It's got flare. Some flare. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was picking up what you were putting down. That's right. But did you smell what the rock was cooking? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a fracture. Well, <laughs> you got to have a fracture. Okay. I literally, it's a slip joint, and I cannot make I, this do this. No, I have I to do it two handed. I. My, I just don't have the thumb strength to make something? it happen. Yes. I didn't realize it was a slip joint. It is a slip joint. Until I picked it up a few minutes ago. Didn't realize it was a slip yep. joint. It is a slip joint from Civivi, of all people. This is a Civivi fracture. Yeah. It's a nice little knife. It is. I'd have a hard time getting used to that being a slip joint. Yeah. Because I'm just going to hold it right with here. With the cutout, that's good. With, might want to go to Eventually, two. Eventually, Isaac will go to two. <laughs> <laughs> he gets so involved watching he the show. En- he got entranced by the dulcet to- to- toins, tones of our voices. <laughs> With the cutout and the blade, I want it to be. Oh, I a did fast too. I wanted to be a fast flipper. action flipper. It is not as a slip joint. So the Civivi Fracture Blue, and this is true for the entire Fracture series, except for the fact that they're not all blue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it features a 3.35 inch 8CR14 MOV drop point blade with a stone wash finish. It's uh, 0.12 inches thick. It's a manual thumb hole opener with a bron- with a bronze washer pivot. Uh, it is a slip joint with half stops. Yes, it does. Think. Does it? It yeah. does. With half stops, with a blue, with blue G10 handles, ambidextrous tip up pocket clip, has a lanyard hole. It's 4.39 inches closed, 7.74 inches overall, and it weighs 3.1 ounces. It's a modern looking knife. It is. with very traditional technology. Yeah, it is literally just a half stop. And it has good action. Uh, again, I just didn't realize it was a slip joint until I picked up off the table and I was trying to figure out why I couldn't flick it open. Right. I just can't get the right spot. No. To, oh. oh. <laughs> there you go. I, it just takes a little practice. And I think is it over time as that washer loosens a little bit for the pivot? As you build your thumb strength? You would have to. Um, it's going to get easier and easier to, to, to open. It is not a super strong pull. It is, I would say it's about a, about a five. Sure. Five out of ten. Let's say what's that out of? Five out of 27. It's part of the 130 so second stops in this right. knife. <laughs> I, 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 I like the feel, though. It's light. It's really light. Um, it would be, I dig the fact that it slipped on with the pocket clip, mm-hmm. which I've always kind of thought was something that more of them should do. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's got good action. I, I like the, the feel. It just is really odd because I want that to be... You just want to flick point. it like all those others, like that Odium we just looked at a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I, yeah. I want that to be a fast mm-hmm. CVV flipper, and it's not. I was wondering... Oh, you can do it. Okay. That's not... That That actually, to it's me, is... Wait, have to fly across the table? Have I ever fractured me? Yes! I have not! Yes! Yes, you yes, have! No! You've <laughs> dropped them, then thrown them, you've stabbed yourself <laughs> in the leg with them. I have stabbed myself in the leg with them. I have never dropped one open in it. <laughs> like that. There's a first time for everything. <laughs> no, I, I, again, knowing what it is now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I, get the right I like it more. I, I didn't, I wasn't sure when I first picked nope, it up. not going to have them for me. Sometimes you got to give up and just go, nope, that's <laughs> nope. not, nope, not going to do it. <laughs> it's like, that is exactly how he cut his leg. Like, I could have opened it, moving it back and forth. And tried it twice. Third time was. You did. You did it. Got to say, <laughs> you did, did it. it open. It did open. It opened right very up. quickly, directly into my leg. Bastinelli's are sharp. And <laughs> I still say by the rules, it's my knife. <laughs> well, you know. somebody bought it. It's my knife. It bit me. Did you have a question? Yes. <laughs> uh, can you can you adjust the pivot? Uh, it does have a torque screw in it. Yeah, well, thank you. Right man. there on the back. And I think if you adjusted that a little bit, you're still not going to be able to flick it because of that half stop. Right. But I think at that point you could rotate it open pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, 2850 though, guys. This uh, is a yeah. 2850 slip joint from Civivi uh, with some steel that is comparable very much so to 440. I mean, it's a it's a wee. It's a wee. It's a wee knife it's a at a at a at a lower price point. It's it's great. 
It's good stuff. Yeah, I like Completely it. Completely and totally. Questions, comments, thoughts, concerns. No, right now we're good. Really? It just is. I very asked just. I've been asking as we go. Fine. We're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works. SMKW.com, the world's largest knife store. You comparing the moose and the fracture? They are very comparable in size and everything. Yep. Uh, sorry, I just I got I was just wondering how they would compare size. You was curious. I was. Curiosity is always rewarded. <laughs> I thought it killed a cat. Yeah, except if you're a cat, then you could skin it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Pockets. 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 Polly pockets. My my phone is ringing in my pocket just as you said. Mine was that. earlier. Up sweat Skinner. This is a oh. sweat bow trapper. Can you? Yeah, up sweat bow trapper. You know what I have in my pocket today? The inspiration. That's awesome. <laughs> 0460 from ZT. Pop that all the way open. I have been rocking this knife in I love it. the little flashlight pocket on my pants for weeks. 0460. Uh, 04 See, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's go to. I wanted to put these side by side. Yeah. There's the inspiration for taking yep. the bow trapper and making it an upsweep. Fun stuff. You talk about a knife <coughs> that is ready for whatever you throw <coughs> at it. I have boxes, food, anything. I can't tell you what all this knife is cut. That is a scandy grip. And this is my cutting knife. Okay. Because my other knife. Is your stabbing knife? <laughs> really? Well, yeah, it is. <laughs> because as much as I want to use this for opening boxes and things, <coughs> it's just really not designed for that. That's a ripper right there. Yeah, it is. So he has the provoke. Yeah, I do. He has the upswip. Class prowess. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Look, this one's upswept too. It is, kind of. <laughs> I have sweat. the 0460. It's yeah. totally dirty. It's probably one of my favorite knives. Sinkovich design. I carry it sure. all the time. Saw it in there. I've had this one so much, I broke the tip on it. Did you really? I did. Dropped it on concrete. Oh, that sucks. Yep. Tink. Right off of there. And then you can see my uh, attempt at sharpening lines on the sides. Yeah. I um, I scarred up my work knife. I cut myself with it. It's not my sharp because I tried to sharpen it. Yeah, my work knife. Uh, it, my work knife is sharp as crap now. Not this one, but the actual mm -hmm. our McCarter work knife. But man, it looks rough. Yeah, <laughs> I've got to. I've got to tighten that. Sharpening is an adventure. It is. It is a long process. Well, I want to try something different, so I got one of our pull throughs, and I just don't like the finish it left. So I think I'm going to get a different one and try on that and see what it looks like. Nice. What else? Couple questions. Um, is the black finish on the Civivi, like the ODM, a consistent black, or is it more like a black wash? It's like a wash. We can go two here. Let me show you again. Yeah. So it is not like a gray finish. It, 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 there is some depth to it. it. There's some difference there. It's kind of like a black wash. Yeah. It's a sort of a gray stone wash. Feels good. Has a nice, a nice feel to the blade. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What else? Uh, Nothing. that's a question, but I'm not, no. But she's not going to ask that one. <laughs> she's not going to ask it. Just big eyes. Big eyes. Uh, if you're not following us on Facebook and part of this SMKW Army, the Facebook uh, group, join it. Yes. want to do that. Follow us on Instagram. That's the easiest way to get to our YouTube channel when we drop new videos. There are always is story links. Plus, we do kick it or card it, and we do... Um, yeah, nice setup fine. shots from her every day. Um, yeah? Yeah, so we try to put items in front of you all the time. Uh, Twitter's out there. You can join us there as well. YouTube, trying to grow it. Subscribe to the channel. If you're watching on Definitely. YouTube right now, make sure you hit that uh, notification bell. That will uh, notify you every time that you we drop a brand new video. Share some of those videos with people. Send them to the YouTube channel look around. The, the kick it or card it segments, the get to the point segments, if you are into sharp and pointy, they're so much fun. You get to see things that you might not have expected. Through doing the hiring over the last two weeks, mm -hmm. that has been my life. Mm -hmm. um, 66 applicants. Law. Wow. Yeah. It was amazing to discuss the knife industry when we actually were doing face-to-face -face interviews. And the people who didn't realize that knives, and the, the thing I keep going back to is it's like shoes. Oh yeah. Once you find the brand, that's what you buy. Here's what I like about how we handle it, though, is with the kick it cart, with the get to the point, you get to, with this with these segments, you get to see knives that you probably might not have ever looked at. Right, and sometimes it strikes your fancy and you change yeah. your shoe brand. Exactly. You're a slip joint person, 
and all of a sudden we show you just a nice, sexy little knife from Fox. Mm -hmm. It's a good EDC, and you go, you know what? That's not going to break the bank. Right. I want to give that a shot. And all of a sudden, you've picked up an entirely new brand and maybe a new style of knife that you might not have ever thought you were into. So uh, that's what I that's what I dig about how we handle our social media. Mm -hmm. Is it's fun? It, it's telling a story more so. Uh, than we're just, just trying to put this. as much stuff as we can out there in front of you so you can see it. Um, you just never know what's going to catch your fancy. That's exactly right. Uh, and sometimes it surprises us what strikes your fancy. It, completely and totally. Yep. It's kind of cool. Uh, what else we got? Anything? Anything? Burn. She shook you off. Anything? She did shake me off. Shake it off. Shake that was Molina's version of Shut Up Boy. <laughs> oh, what are we giving away? We're Ooh. giving away the Rough Rider Moose yes. in the classic G10. For sure. This is definitely going to be it. Uh, what are we going to do? We need some kind of good comment. Make Put Jason your, decide. Yeah. Put in your favorite line of a poem that contains <laughs> the word moose. <laughs> I don't think there are that many poems with you it. You might be. <laughs> Canadians have lots of moose. <laughs> I guarantee you there's Canadian poems about a moose. <laughs> oh, what if they had to include a picture of a moose? Uh, they Not everybody can make a picture. And there can't be put pictures on YouTube, so... Oh, that didn't work. That what doesn't... What about moose jokes? Moose jokes? That's like in <laughs> fully involved. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lord, <laughs> I, what if... Instead of okay. that. Okay. I'm listening. What if... Um, no, go ahead. I can't think of one. <laughs> Hashtag moose is loose. They're perfect. Uh, <laughs> Hashtag the moose is loose. The Hashtag moose is loose. The moose the is loose. That's all you got to do. Make a reply on this video. Make a reply on uh, the Facebook uh, video as well. We'll draw randomly and... Uh, randomly. Remember that, that cartoon from Looney Tunes? In the lighthouse? No. With Sylvester and Tweety? The moose is loose in the hoose. Don't remember. Was the Scottish lighthouse keeper? Don't remember that. Yeah. Do they, are there moose in Scotland? No, it was a mouse. Oh, okay. The moose is loose in the hoose. Hashtag the moose <laughs> is loose. I'll draw randomly and I'll tell you who won this Rough Rider I G Classic G10. Jason G Harrington knows exactly what I'm talking about. I'm sure he does. Lefty's out there looking for a lefty right. mouse trap right now. I said the moose is loose in the hoose and he flashed back to his childhood. <laughs> a round in the boot, the hoose. Yes. On the escarpment above the falls. That's good. Yeah, we tour guide who said it like half a billion times in Toronto <laughs> or in Niagara Falls. Actually, um, we're gonna get out of here, guys. Uh, Isaac has been on the board doing all his stuff. Hot pants be darned. <laughs> it's amazing he can stay in that seat as slick as those things are. Well, it's the it's the amount of oil that he has. Just <laughs> generally, yeah. yes. It's kind of fantastic. No, it's like he looks like Triple H coming through the curtain uh, in wrestling. True. Did you know his nickname was Lynn Seed in high school? <laughs> <laughs> the cackle you hear is Melina. Wow. She's been happy to answer all of your questions right there. Oh, there she Lynn is on the torture can. Wave to the audience. Wave. No, no she was good. He was on the football team. <laughs> it he was a tackling dummy. It's good to have you back they in the house. Catch him. <laughs> <laughs> I really love we did back. pretty good though. We kept it to forty minutes. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Usually they run longer than that. Could be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jason. We'll try to get him on the show more often. For sure. My name is Andy. You have watched a whole other episode of Guys Talk Knives Live. Uh, watch for Thursday. We drop the recorded episode, and then we'll be back live on Tuesday. Catch you then. We're out of here. Prettiest knife award. Prettiest <laughs> knife award.